Hey guys, welcome back to my test world here. Got a piston powered T flip flop for ya. They said it couldn't be done. I don't know who said that, but somebody isn't. Um, this is a T flip flop. Um, this is my old design. This isn't in the wiki yet, I don't believe. Um, what a T flip flop does is it uh, alternates output. Uh, for each button press. So you push a button, that door opens, stays open, push the button again, door closes and stays closed. And we've recreated that here using pistons. And basically what's happening is um, the signal is, um, when the button is pressed, there's a signal that uh, tries to go to each piston but it can only go one way. Here it's being blocked by this solid block so that this signal cannot get to this piston. It can only go through here where it's let through by the glass. So when I push the button the signal will travel through here to this piston and it'll shove the row of uh, glass and blocks over one. Now when I push it again it, the signal cannot go this way it can only go this other way to the other piston, so it shoves it right back. So it just swaps, takes turns back and forth. You have to have a little bit of delay in here. If you don't have enough delay, um, it'll try to send it twice. Show you what happens here. And sometimes it'll kind of push the... It's actually working there, but sometimes it'll get screwed up. So I throw a little bit of delay on there. And... Uh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem. So there, only one piston is trying to activate now. Um, in the meantime, as that col or the row gets pushed back and forth, it alternates activating this line of dust, which is activated when the solid block passes over the torch. The glass won't activate the line, but when the solid block goes over the top of that torch, it is lit, it is powered, and it in turn powers the line of dust, which powers the door. So it swaps um, states. So pretty easy to make. Um, go ahead and just go ahead and make one here for you. Uh, we're going to start with the torch in the middle, and then the line of dust, which is going to be your output. And I'll just throw a door on there for clarity. So that's uh, that part of it. We need to have a um, a block on top to activate or uh, uh, unactivate. And then we'll have glass on either side of that. Now the uh, two signals to power the pistons will travel through here. We'll have a block in the middle to act as a distributor with the uh, repeater on the other side that just basically kicks the power out sideways. Um, and then we'll put a repeater down in a hole here to pick up the power from this line of dust. Uh, it's raining. And uh, put a piece of dust here besides the piston to activate that piston. So turn that sideways. And then it's going to mirror on the other side. You know me, I love symmetric symmetry. So let's put another piston over here. And then we need to um, put um, a block here, and then glass. And then this one's going to be covered. One has to be covered and one not covered. So this one's uncovered, and this one is, is covered. And I think that's it. Let me add on the delay here just for fun. And uh, let's see if this actually works. There we go. Pretty simple. I don't know if it's uh, well. It's definitely simpler in this design because you'd have to look at a at a uh, schematic to figure that sucker out. I had to look back at my notes. I think I could, uh, you might be able. This might be a little bit more intuitive to be able to recreate. But uh, anyway, um, 